you know, one of the biggest mistakes that I see people make is when they're considering buying an investment property, they kind of do some numbers. They're like, look at their partner, they're like, oh, should we buy an investment? Oh, yeah, I think we should, I think we should. Well, we're probably gonna buy, you know, in our suburb, because that's normally where people buy, because they feel like they know it. Right, and then they do some numbers. Oh, you know, the house is that much and interest is this much and we'll get this much rent. Oh, it's gonna cost like 150 bucks a week. Can we afford 150 bucks? Oh, I think we can afford 150 bucks a week and they invest in property. That's where you can get caught out. Why? Because markets fluctuate. You might find rents drop. You might find interest rates spike. You might find that vacancy, suddenly your property's vacant for a month or two. Okay, and all of those things could completely blow out your strategy. So when we're building in a strategy, we wanna make sure that if you're saying that you can pay yourself first 300 bucks a week, that what we do is we build in significant buffers and safety nets into that 300 bucks a week. And in fact, probably set you up on a property that's costing more like 20 or 50 bucks a week. So that if interest rates spike or vacancy spike, your 50 goes to 150, not your 250 when you said you could afford 300 suddenly goes to 500. Okay, that would be a very bad plan. You've got to make sure that the fluctuations in the market are built to allow for the buffers and safety nets that are built into your strategies.